Good morning, you guys. Happy, happy Monday. Thanks for coming into class. If you do want to play along with my music today, you're going to find that on Spotify. My username is Christine A, and the playlist that you're looking for is the 20-21 Flow. If you don't want to play along with music, or if you don't have Spotify, don't use, don't worry about that. Just play any music that you'd like to have on in the background, and we are going to get started in Shavasana today. Um, if you do happen to have a couple of blocks or anything that'll help with your balance, these cans work really great. You could bring those close to your mat. And I am going to press play on my playlist in just a second here and count that down. So again, if you do want to play with my playlist, Spotify, Christine A, and the 2021 flow. Pressing play on that playlist here in three, two, and one. So go ahead and start in your version of Shavasana. Whatever feels best in your body here, start to close down your eyes. Take a nice full deep breath in. Give yourself a large open mouth exhale, press your belly button into your spine and allow your air to empty out. Now with your next couple of breaths, just begin to notice your breath, your body, your heartbeat. Just begin to notice and observe. How do you feel today? How's your body feeling? Begin to bring attention to your lungs. And just observe. Is your breath feeling as if it's thick? Maybe stuck in the tops of your lungs? Or is your breath able to flow a bit more full and fluid, pressing down towards the bottom lobes of your lungs and allowing your belly button to rise? and fall from your spine. Just notice and acknowledge there's no need to change, no need to manipulate. Just take this moment to find where you are today. Your next inhale, start to bring your energy all the way down to the tips of your toes and the outer layers of your skin. Visualize slowly moving inward, coming into your layers of skin and fascia, into your muscles, your joints, your tendons, and all the way into your vertebrae. If you do begin to find points of tension or tightness, take a full breath in and fill yourself up from front to back and then side to side giving yourself a large open mouth exhale or sigh out. If you do begin to notice points already feeling open, spacious and free, bring a breath that's filled with gratitude. Thank your body for the breath that you've been given today. We'll take three more breaths. With your next inhale, begin to draw your left hand onto your heart. Right hand to your abdomen. And with your left hand on your heart, I'd like you to begin to find a positive, loving thought for yourself. Take a full deep inhale, sending that feeling and that thought into your body. And picture warming up gently from your insides out. Take another full inhale. As you exhale, release your arms alongside your body and start to wiggle through your fingers, your toes. Release your tongue from the top of your mouth and then rock your head side to side. Take a long body stretch, reach your arms high above your head. Stretch nice and deep through one side. 
and then into your opposite to balance out. Come back to center and start to squeeze your knees in nice and tight. And then find a bit of movement here. Gently rock and roll from side to side, massaging out your tailbone, your lower back. Find your stillness, squeeze your knees in tight, hold your right leg in and extend your left leg all the way long. As you inhale, open your right leg up towards the side of your body. And as you exhale, bring your knee in towards your shoulder. We'll take two more active breaths. Inhale, your leg moves away a bit. As you exhale, you draw back in and take one more breath. With your exhale, begin to plant your left foot onto the ground. Bring your right ankle onto your left knee. Now press your right knee away from your body. Take a breath in. Flex your right toes towards your shin and again, press just a bit harder. Now release that press, open your arms to a T and roll your legs towards the left hand side. Let your right foot land onto the ground and then maybe turn your head towards the right. Two full breaths here in your supine pigeon twist. Begin to bring your eyes back to the ceiling and pull your body back to neutral. Half happy baby. Left foot is planted onto the ground. Reach for the inner edge of your right foot and then draw your knee down towards the ground. Flexing your toes towards your shin. We'll hold for two full breaths. Now release and begin to again squeeze your knees into your body. Hold your left leg in and extend your right leg all the way long. As you inhale, opening your left leg towards the side of your body. As you exhale, drawing your knee in towards your shoulder and two more breaths, finding space as you inhale. Drawing in as you exhale. Take one more big breath in. Adding pressure to draw in as you exhale. And now plant right foot onto the ground. Guide your left ankle onto your right knee and press your left knee towards the front of your space. Flex your left toes towards your shin. Press just a bit harder. And now release. Open your arms and let your legs roll to the right side. Turn your head to the left. Eyes back to the ceiling, pull your body through neutral, half happy baby, right foot is onto the ground. Reaching for the inner edge of your left foot, draw down and add pressure. Hold here. Make sure that you have not clenched down on your jaw. Take another deep inhale. Stay as you exhale and then begin to squeeze both knees into your body. Draw in nice and tight. Rock and roll along the length of your spine. You're going to come up to your tabletop pose. Safely stack your joints, wrists are below your shoulders, knees hip distance apart. First inhale, drop your belly down, eyes rise to the ceiling to cow. Exhale, round and press back, cat pose. Three more times on your breath, inhaling through your cow and exhaling back to cat. Two more times, find your breath, let your body flow. Last time. From here, downward facing dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips up high and press your torso back for three full breaths, pedal out your feet. Maybe sashay out your hips just a bit from side to side. Take another deep inhale. You exhale, shift your body forward to plank and release all the way down to the mat. Keep your right hand underneath your shoulder, open up your left arm, take a deep inhale. And exhale, press the ground away with your right hand, roll to the left side of your mat. Bring your ear back down, take a breath. Maybe step your right foot behind your body, depending on the pressure and left. Take a deep inhale and stay here as you exhale. One more big breath in. Let your legs meet as you exhale, roll onto your stomach. Switch this out, left hand under your shoulder, right arm open, press the ground away. Roll to right side, bring your ear down. 
Maybe step your foot behind, but listen to your body. Two full breaths. One more inhale. Letting your legs meet as you exhale, roll onto your stomach. Hands below your shoulders, tabletop pose. Inhale and reach your right arm high. Roll out your right wrist and unwind. Large sweeping circle to open your arm. Balance out and unwind. As your right arm reaches high, inhale and thread the needle, right arm behind left. Right shoulder and ear down to the mat. Shift your right hip forward, left to back. Maybe reach your left arm towards the top of the mat or half bind if you'd like to. Keep your hips in neutral. We stay for two full breaths. Open mouth exhales if you're feeling tension. Take a deep inhale and replace your left hand down. Press into your tabletop, reach your right arm high and roll through your wrist, unwind, release to the mat. Inhale to reach your left arm high, roll through left wrist, unwind and large sweeping circle to open, balance out, left arm high, inhale, thread the needle, left arm behind right, shoulder and ear to the mat, Left hip actively shift forward, right back. Find your arm variation. Might be different on this side, and that's perfectly fine. Two full breaths. Take another inhale. Replace your right hand below your shoulder. Press into tabletop and lift your left arm high. Roll out your wrist. Unwind, release to the mat, and again, downward facing dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips, press your torso back. Now for three full breaths, pedaling out your feet. With your third exhale, find stillness and your ujjayi breath, restriction to the back of your throat. Inhaling through your nose and exhaling as if you were fogging up a mirror with your lips closed. Your breath is audible. Bend your knees. Bring your eyes toward the top, <clears throat> hop, step, or walk, crawl to the top if you'd like to. Half lift as you inhale. Fold, exhale. Tadasana, arms reach high, back bend, and goal post. Press your hips forward, inhale to rise. Swan dive down, forward fold. Half lift, flat back, forward fold, plant your hands. Step back to your plank, your elbows bend in towards your body, knees can be to the mat. Graze your rib cage as you lower down. Find your small cobra, upward facing dog, whatever feels best. And when you're ready, arrive back to your downward facing dog. <clears throat> take a breath in. Your lips are sealed down as you exhale. We'll take one more sun A, bend your knees. Eyes to the top, hop, step, walk, crawl. Half lift and fold. Tadasana, arms reach high. Back bend, goal pose. Inhale to rise. Swan dive down, forward fold. Half lift. Fold, plant your hands, plank. Take your flow or lose it. Find whatever flow works for your body best today. Arriving back, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right toes high. Low lunge, sweep through, plant down next to right thumb, left knee to the mat, reach your arms high as you inhale. Sink down deep, right back bend as you exhale. Take a breath in, right arm sways back and left arm to front, open twist. Inhale back through center, exhale left arm back, right arm front. Inhale through center. Close your hands at heart, rotate towards the right, Hinge forward, go ahead, hook your elbow onto your knee. Now press lead into your hands, lift and twist your torso, gently turn your head towards the right. Take a deep breath in, stay here as you exhale. One more big breath. Release and rotate through center. Half split, plant your hands down, straighten out your front right leg. You can always use blocks or soup cans. You can tense your fingers, you can find fists, roll out your ankle, unwind, and then point. 
flex back towards your body and then allow your head to hang down nice and heavy. Take a breath in, big deep breath out. As you inhale, lift your head, unflex your toes and come back to tabletop. Lift up to your plank, either take your flow or lose it and arrive when you're ready into your downward facing dog. With your next inhale, reach your left toes high. Low lunge, sweep through and plant down, right knee to the mat. Reach your arms high as you inhale, goal post, back bend, and sink down. Inhale to reach high, left arm back, right arm front. Inhale through center, switching this out, right arm back, left to front. Come back through center, close your hands at heart. Rotate towards the left hook forward, elbow on to knee, pressure into your palms, lift and twist, turn your head towards the left, stay here, two full breaths, second exhale, release, rotate to center, half split, plant down, find your block, straighten out your left leg, roll through your ankle, unwind, point, and then flex, Hang your head down nice and heavy. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale to lift your head. Unflex your toes. Come back to tabletop. Lift up to your plank, flow through or skip and arrive to your downward facing dog when you feel ready. Next inhale, reach your right toes high. Crescent lunge, sweep through plant down. Get your balance and begin to rise. Sink down, take a breath in. Right arm back, left to front. Inhale back through center. Exhale, left arm back. Move slowly, keep your balance. Inhale through center. Close your hands at heart. Rotate your torso towards the right. Now hinge forward elbow onto knee. You can always bring left knee down if you'd like. Pressure into your hands, lift and twist. Two full breaths. Second exhale, release and rotate through center. Plant your hands down to the mat. Step all the way up to the top. Half lift as you inhale. And exhale, fold. Tadasana, arms reach high. Back bend and go pose. Inhale, rise. Swan dive down. Half lift. Fold, plant your hands, plank. Take your flow or lose it. Next inhale, reach your left toes high. Crescent lunge, sweep your plant down. Get your balance and slow rise. Sink down, exhale. Breath in. Left arm back, right to front. Inhale through center. Right arm slowly sways back, left front. Inhale, center. Close your hands at heart. Rotate your torso towards the left. Hinge forward, elbow to knee. Right knee can always be down if you'd like to. Pressure to your palms, lift, twist. Hold here. One more breath. Release and rotate through center. Plant down, we'll bring ourselves back to our plank. Take your flow or lose it. Coming back through. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Find your stillness as you exhale. Next inhale, reach your right toes high. Warrior one, sweep through plant down, left heel to the mat, everything shines to the front. 90 degree bend, front knee. Deep inhale here. Exhale, airplane arms, lean forward, palms face down. Inhale to rise. Exhale in airplane. Inhale to rise, bring your hands down to your tail, humble warrior, take a breath, shine your heart, and hinge forward, right shoulder, right knee. 
Maybe your arms reach towards the front. Listen to your body. If they feel better down at your tail, keep them there. Two more full breaths. Second exhale, slowly bring your hands down towards your tail, release your grip and plant your hands to the mat. Lift left heel, come back to your plank. Take your flow, lose it. You don't have to have every single flow in class and arrive back when you're ready. Downward facing dog. Next inhale, your left toes reach high. Warrior one. Right heel to the mat and rise. Sink down, breath in. Airplane and lean forward, palms face down. Inhale and rise. Exhale, airplane. Inhale to rise and hands down to your tail. Humble warrior, take a breath. Hinge forward. Left shoulder, left knee, maybe your arms reach towards the top. Listen to your body. Two full breaths. Second exhale, hands down towards your tail, release grip. Plant down, lift right heel and plank. Flow through or skip. Breath in, breath out. Next inhale, shift forward to plank. Pull your belly button in, press the mat away. Hold here. Next inhale, lift right foot off the ground. Bring that back down. Lift left foot. Back down. Now on your breath. Right lift, inhale. Exhale down. Left, down. One more each. Back to your downward facing dog. Let your belly button go. Bring your eyes towards the top, hop, step, or walk to arrive. Take a seat, we're going to move into boat. Wiggle around and find your sits bone. Begin to slowly lean back. Hands open to the ceiling or behind your thighs, whatever feels better. And when you start to lean back, your toes want to lift off the ground. Once they lift, you're in boat and you can keep your toes just tapped to the ground if you'd like. Now pull your belly button in, nice strong core, and start to lean your head back just a bit. Feel your rib cage shake. Ujjayi breath. Sending your oxygen directly into your intertransverse abdominal. Tightest core muscle. Two more breaths. Next inhale, pull your knees in. Exhale, slowly extend. Inhale to come in. Exhale, extend two more times. In and out. Last time, in and out. Now roll to your back. Pull your knees in tight, rock, roll side to side. Let your belly button go. Take a couple of resting breaths here. One more big breath in and find your stillness. Again, rock along the length of your spine. Last time, coming up to your boat. Toes can be planted onto the mat or leaning back. Bring your hands to heart. Take an inhale. Exhale, rotate your body towards the right. Inhale through center. Left. Through center to the right. Center. And left. And last time, one for each. Pull your knees in, cross your ankles, plant your hands, send your feet through, come up to your downward facing dog, press your torso back, let your belly button go, maybe pedal your feet out for a breath here, and then when you're ready, begin to find your stillness. 
With your next inhale, reach your right toes high to the ceiling, warrior two, sweep through. Plant down, left heel to the mat, and rise. Sink down. Reverse your warrior to the ceiling and back. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse your warrior and hold. Turn your head to your back foot. Take a breath in. Stay here as you exhale. One more inhale. Just begin to straighten out your front leg. Reach further to the back. Take a breath in. Breath out. Now keep your legs as they are. Bring your arms through neutral. Triangle pose. Reach to the front. Right hand towards your shin. Left arm reaches high. You can always have a block under your hand. Deep breath in. Half bind as you exhale. Let your hand land. Begin to draw right arm towards the front and then turn your head towards the back. This will allow your shoulder to open just a bit more. One more breath. Right arm drops. Left arm rises. Warrior two. Cartwheel all the way down. Frame your right foot. Lift your left heel. Come back to your plank and either take your flow or just arrive. Back to your downward facing dog when you're ready. With your next inhale, lift your left toes high. Warrior two, sweep your plant down, right heel to the mat. Get your balance to rise, sink. Reverse your warrior, ceiling and back. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse your warrior and hold. Turn your head to your back foot. Another breath in. Slowly begin to straighten out your front leg. Reach deeper to the back. Reverse your triangle. One more inhale. Your legs stay as they are. Arms through neutral. Reach forward. Triangle pose. Left hand down. Right arm high. Half bind with your exhale. Draw your belly button in and left arm reaches towards the top. Maybe turning your head towards your back shoulder to open. One more breath. Do exhale, left hand drops, right arm reaches high, warrior two to rise. Cartwheel down and frame, left foot, lift right heel off of the mat and plank. Chaturanga or skip. Downward facing dog. Inhale, right toes high. Sweep through and plant down. Warrior one to rise, everything shines forward. Sink down, deep breaths in. Airplane arms lean forward, palms face down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale and airplane lean forward. Inhale, warrior one, ground your warrior. Bring your fingertips down to the ground or hold your blocks, lift left heel. Next inhale, lift your left leg, hip to heel height, moving into your warrior three. Pull your belly button in, bend your right knee just a bit and flex left toes towards the ground. Grounded warrior three. When you feel ready, belly button draws in and you can start to lift your hands off of your block or off of the ground. Maybe your hands come to heart. Maybe they reach forward or you take a chest expansion. You do what feels best here in your body. Take another inhale. Exhale and ground your warrior fingertips to the block. Bend your right knee. Tap left leg on right side of the mat. She's a squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend and tap. Inhale, lift. And one more time. Exhale to bend and tap. Lift high. Plant your left toes down really far back. Hands to the mat. Come through your plank. Hold here for three, two, and one, chaturanga, or arise. With your next inhale, reaching your left toes high, sweep through and plant down next to the left thumb, warrior one, right heel to the mat and rise, and then sink, take an inhale. Airplane your arms, lean forward, your palms face down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, airplane. Inhale, rise. 
Bring your hands down to the ground or block. Lift right heel, grounded warrior three. Lift your right leg high, hip heel at the same height, bend left knee. Belly button in. Start to find your version, warrior three. Embrace the shake into your left ankle. A bit more strength is being found. Take another inhale. Exhale, ground your warrior. Take a deep breath and jiva squat. Right leg taps on left side. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend and tap. One more time, lift high. Bend and tap as you exhale. Lift high, plant your right foot down far to the back of the mat. Hands to the mat, plank, chaturanga. Back to your Adho Mukha Shavasana, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, big breath out. Bring your eyes towards the top of your mat, bend your knees, hop, step, walk to the top. Half lift, inhale, fold as you exhale. Tadasana, arms reach high. Sama Siddhi, bring your hands down to your heart. Lift your right foot, toes off of the ground. Bring your toes back down and begin to find your low tree, opening your left knee towards its own side. Your weight is stabilized into your right foot. Find a focus point onto the ground, three to five feet in front of you. And now when you feel ready, if you'd like to lift your left foot higher, maybe to your shin or to your inner thigh, you can do so. Beginning to grow branches. And then maybe let your branches sway in the wind. You can challenge further by shifting your gaze off of the floor towards the ceiling, or maybe closing your eyes, bringing your intention completely inward. Take another breath in, big breath out. Slowly drop your arms to your side, one leg to dasana, float left leg in towards the front, extend and kick out, take a deep inhale. Stay here as you exhale. Inhale, lift your left leg up just a bit higher. Stay as you exhale, take one more breath in. Left leg floats down, roll through your hips. Reach your arms high. Sama Siddhi, hands back down to your heart. Energy is into your left foot. Toes back to the mat. Open your right knee to its own side. All of your weight is into your left leg. And when you feel ready, you begin to find tree, however it suits your body for today, low or high. Find a bit more of a challenge on the side. Remember, the sides of your body are so different. Maybe you feel more stable on one side or you're able to lift higher. There's no judgment here. You just listen to your body. We have two more full breaths. Again, if you'd like, you can close your eyes and see what this does to your balance. It's a fun trick to play with. Drop your arms down to the sides. One leg to dasana, right leg floats in. Extend and kick out. Stay here, breath in. Breath out. You inhale, lift your right leg up just a bit higher. Hold as you exhale, take one more deep breath, float down, roll out your hips and wrists, reach your arms high. Swan dive down, forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Fold, plant your hands, plank. We're going to hold here for five, four, three, two, and one downward facing dog. Press up and back. Next inhale, reach your right toes high. Warrior two, sweep through plant down, left heel to the mat, rise, sink. Reverse your warrior ceiling and back. Warrior two as you exhale. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And extended side angle from warrior two, reach forward, right arm down, left arm high. If you'd like to, you can always grab a block underneath your right hand. Lift your left arm higher. 
half bind as you exhale, let your left hand land wherever it may, pull your belly button in. Focus on opening your left shoulder towards the back just a bit more. Now, if you'd like, you can either keep your hand onto your block or begin to reach your right arm forward. You're relying on your oblique side of your body to hold you up. Take another deep breath in. Big breath out. Deep inhale. Exhale, right arm drops, left arm reaches. Warrior two, rise. Cartwheel down. Frame, right foot. Plank, hold. Five, four, three, two, and downward facing dog, press up and back. Take your heels down deep. Next inhale, reach left toes high and warrior two, sweep through plant down. Rise as you inhale and then sink. Reverse your warrior, ceiling and back. Warrior two, exhale. Reverse your warrior. And then extended side angle, reach forward. Drop left elbow down, right arm reaches high. Block underneath your left hand if you'd like. Half bind as you exhale. Hold here. Begin to maybe reach left arm towards the front. Three full breaths. Left arm drop, right arm reaches high. Warrior two, cartwheel down, frame left foot, plank and hold for five, four, three, two, and one downward facing dog. Eyes to the top of your mat, bend your knees, hop, walk, crawl to the top. Half lift as you inhale. Exhale, fold, Tadasana, arms reach high. Hands back down to your heart, Thomas, to the Again, send energy into your right foot, lift your toes, bring your toes back down. Just tiptoe left onto the ground. We're making sure all of our weight is into our right foot. When you feel ready, you can lift up your left ankle and plant that onto your right knee, figure four. Take a big breath in. You exhale, starting to sink down. Only as far as feels good in your body. Eyes stay on your focus point. If you'd like to, you could drop your prayer, reach for your block. Sinking down, we have three full breaths. Take one more inhale. Do exhale, start to straighten out, kick your foot out to the front. Drop left foot to the ground. Send energy into left. Kick stand your right. Make sure your weight is into left foot. Figure four, right ankle onto left knee, toes are flexed. Focus point to the ground, take an inhale. Exhale, starting to sink. Find your edge. Maybe laser point your fingers towards your blocks or find stability if you'd like. Three full breaths. Third exhale again, when you're ready, start to straighten out. Kick your right foot to the front. Drop down, roll out your hips your wrists, reach your arms high. Back bend lightly, inhale to rise. Swan dive down over the top. Half lift, flat back. Forward fold, plant your hands and plank, step back, you flow through. Chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Next inhale, reach your right toes high to the ceiling. 
sweep through center line of your mat. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, start to walk your hands towards the left into a wide leg forward fold. Let your toes come towards the outer edges, heels towards the inner, and start to sink down. A bend into your knees to protect your hamstrings, and you can find a bit of movement. Deeply bend one leg, straighten out the opposite. Find a bit of movement from front to back. One more inhale and exhale. Next breath, walk your hands around towards the front and plant down, bring right foot back to meet left. We're going to hold here in our plank for five. Weight into right hand in four. Left hand lifts off the mat in three. Big breath in for two, and as you exhale, side plank on your right, left hand lift. Stack, stagger your feet, bottom knee can always be down. Press the mat away, lift your hips up higher, pull your belly button in. From here, maybe lift top leg off of the ground. We're gonna hold for three full breaths. Third exhale, bring your top leg down, plank to downward facing dog. Inhale and reach your left toes high. Sweep through center line of your mat. Hold here, take a breath. Start to walk your hands around to the right to a wide leg forward fold. Heels towards the inner, toes outer, and let your torso hang down. Find a bit of movement, maybe deeply bending one leg. Straightening out the other. Stretching out your inner thigh. One more big breath. Big breath out. Walk your hands around to the front again and frame left foot. Plank, hold here for five. Weight to left hand in four. Right hand lifts off the mat in three. Take a big breath in. And exhale, side plank on your left, right hand lift. Stack, stagger, find your support. Maybe again, challenge yourself by lifting your top leg. Top leg down through plank to downward facing dog. Press your torso up and back. Next inhale, reach your right toes high, pigeon pose, right knee, right wrist. Slide your left leg back, lift your head and torso. And sleeping pigeon, when you feel ready, walk your hands forward. Maybe come down to your forearms or you could have a block underneath your forehead. Start to rest your body down. Notice your breath. Keep your hips in neutral. Don't roll your body towards the right. Two more full breaths. Next inhale, press weight into your hands, lift your head, your torso, quad stretch, deep, deep bend to your left knee. Toes are flexed once they arrive and you can stay right there with your toes activated towards the shin. You'll feel a bit of a stretch to your quad, otherwise right hand into center, left hand reaches back. Maybe as you exhale, keeping your toes flexed, you draw your heel in towards your glute. Be easy, take another inhale. Stay here as you exhale, slowly begin to let go. Don't flop your legs. Shift your weight towards your right hip. Swing your left leg around to the front. Bring your right foot to the inner edge, left thigh. Reach your arms high. Rotate your torso towards the left and then fold forward. Your hands can just land alongside your body. It's just about keeping your body twisted to the left. We're not trying to bring ourselves all the way down. Take another deep inhale. 
stay as you exhale and then take your right hand, plant that to the inner edge of your right knee and gently press your knee away from your body. One more deep breath in and out. Slowly begin to release that press. Walk your hands back up to seated through center. Swing your left leg around to the back. Tuck your toes and come back into your downward facing dog. Two full breaths, paddle out your feet. Notice the difference between your right and left leg here. Find stillness. Inhale to reach your left toes high and pigeon pose, left knee, left wrist. Slide your right leg back. King pigeon, the sleeping pigeon when you feel ready. Walk your hands forward, let your head rest. Two more full breaths. Press weight to your hands, lift up your head, torso, quad stretch, deep, deep bend to your right knee, flex your toes. Maybe that's enough or left hand, plant, right can reach back. Take a breath in, keeping your toes flexed, maybe draw your shin, your heel towards glutes. One more deep inhale, staying here, and then slowly letting go. Don't let your legs flop. Shift weight to left hip, swing your right leg all the way around. Sit up tall. Left foot meets your inner thigh, reach your arms high. Actively rotate your body towards the right, and then just lean forward. Let your hands land wherever you may. Just keep your body maybe twisted towards the right just a bit here. We'll stay for three full breaths. Allowing your body to slowly run. One more inhale and exhale, and then slowly begin to walk your hands back up to the body. Bring your right leg around to the front. We're going to roll onto our back. Squeeze your knees down nice and tight. Take a second here to rock and roll from side to side. Find your stillness as you exhale. Open your arms to a T. Sink your legs towards the left hand side and then turn your head towards the right. Close down your eyes for just a moment here. And allow your body to just pause. Bring your eyes back to the ceiling, pull your body through neutral, and then let both of your legs sink towards the right, turning your head towards the left. Slowly bring your eyes back to the ceiling and body to neutral. Plant both feet onto the ground and hands palms side down. With your next inhale, bridge pose, pressing weight into your feet. Lift your thighs towards the ceiling. Chest expansion, if you'd like to, interlocking your hands below your body and then shimmying one shoulder at a time. Depending on the height your body maybe you begin to lift your heels this will bring more weight into your shoulders
Slowly bring your heels back down to the ground. Begin to release the grip underneath your body. Bring your shoulders back to neutral and iron out all the way to the ground from here. Modified legs up the walls, straighten out your legs towards the ceiling. You can take a second to point and flex your toes. Picture as if you were tiptoeing across the ceiling. And now you have the option to stay here in your modified legs up the wall. But if shoulder stand is part of your practice, you can take that at this time. Just make sure that you're supporting your lower back at all times. Eyes stay on the ceiling. Now, if you've come this far, you can move your body into plow by dropping one toe at a time underneath your head, the back of your head. We're going to stay for three more breaths. Ear pinning pose is next. If that's part of your practice, bending your knees. And then again, slowly supporting your back, rolling into your modified legs up the wall. From modified legs up the wall, happy baby, reaching for the inner parts of your feet, behind your calves or thighs, and finding movement or stillness. Listen to your body with what works best here. Two more breaths, movement. And then find your stillness and center. Supine cobbler's pose, let your feet meet each other in the center, knees open wide, drop that all the way down to the ground. Bring your hands onto the inner edges of your thighs. If you'd like to apply a small amount more weight there for opening, or you could bring one hand to your heart and to your abdomen to reconnect with your body and breath. I'm just going to take a moment here to pause. Feel yourself open and expansive. Inviting in new opportunities in life, opportunities of change and growth. Your next exhale, bring your hands towards the outer edges of your knees and assist them closing down. Squeeze your knees in nice and tight to your body. Maybe pull your forehead in close. And then when you're ready, you can find your version of Shavasana. Extending your legs long down the mat. Or constructive rest if that feels better on your lower back. Begin to close down your eyes. Just notice how your body has landed. Maybe your palms are facing up towards the ceiling for receiving energy. We're closed down towards the ground for stability and balance in your body. Just allow your body to pause. I'll take one last body scan. Starting to bring your energy all the way down to the tips of your toes, outer layers of your skin. Now this time as you inhale, beginning to slowly move inward through your layers of skin and fascia, your muscles, your joints, your tendons. Just begin to notice changes, small differences within your body, 
Maybe that's strength. Maybe that's flexibility. Continue with your breath moving inward and upward. And moving that energy all the way up to the crown of your head. As you exhale, visualize softening from the crown of your head all the way down to the tips of your toes. Feel all of the connection with the back of your body onto the mat, onto the ground. Give your body thanks for the movement that is provided for you today. Thanks for the support below your body, allowing you to feel held, comfortable. Begin to consciously relax your toes, your ankles, calves, knees, and thighs. Take this moment to allow your practice to fully settle into your body. Your breath to even out. You can stay here just as long as you'd like to in your Shavasana. But if you are ready to begin to move on with the rest of your day, find small movements into your fingers, into your toes. Release your tongue from the top of your mouth and gently rock your head from side to side. Long body stretch. That feels good for your body today. Roll to either side into your fetal position. Pause here. Pull your knees into your body. Come back into that positive, loving feeling that you found at the very beginning of class. Allow that to fill you and last with you for the rest of your day, your week, and your month. When you feel ready, push yourself up to seated. Bring your hands to heart center. Connect onto your sternum. Feel your breath. Give your body praise, gratitude for everything that it does for you throughout your day, pushing you forward in life without ever asking. Slowly raise your prayer to your forehead for positive thoughts. Down to your lips for speaking words of truth and love. And down to your heart for connection of the mom. Namaste. Happy, happy Monday, you guys. Thanks for coming into class. I hope that you have a fantastic weekend. Still am teaching Tuesday.